Welcome everyone to the Passionate Pack Rat. What you're looking at is an aloe vera plant. And having grown up with these plants, and having my children growing up with these plants, every home should have one of these. Um, I'm going to just replant this. I have neglected it. Um, the roots are, there's hardly any dirt in here, so... Look at that. Ugh. Terrible, I tell you. These are called fronds. Um, and what you do, it's an amazing, amazing healing plant. You take a frond off and you open it up. And if you have a burn, if you have a cut, um, if you have hemorrhoids, I'll get to a story about that. But see all that inside. You just rub it. If I had, I don't have any cuts, oddly enough, or any burns. I usually do, but I don't. But you just rub it on, just like that. Let it dry. And if you have a sunburn, this stuff will soak up like a sponge. You put it on if you have a sunburn on your back. Let's say, like I said. And this is a small plant compared to uh, friends of mine who have huge, huge aloe plants. The, uh, the fronds are, are much, much bigger than these. They're much, they're like two inches wide at the base. Um, they're just huge. This plant isn't very healthy because I, I've neglected it. They, they like, they love light. They don't like direct sunlight for whatever reason, a little, but not all day even though i think they're somewhat of a desert plant or semi-arid plant um anyways i've never had uh, many problems with hemorrhoids thank god um but you know a few times anyways a friend of mine who raised uh, aloe vera commercially and like i said the plants were much much bigger um what he would do is he would take a frond off and again, the fronds were much bigger. And he would open them up. And then he would scrape out the pulp inside like this. Until then he would make a ball out of it. Now, I, it's hard to do with these. They're so little. Um, and I'm not taking enough. But he'd make a ball. And kind of like a... a, a Kind of like a little football and then he would wrap them up and freeze them and he would sell them believe it or not uh for hemorrhoids and again i haven't had many problems but i've tried creams and i've tried this and i'm just saying for me it worked much better than any cream and I'm not going to say any cream or any kind of cream because, you know, I have the FDA and whomever after me um, making false claims. But honestly, like I said, you, you rub it on a cut a couple times um, and it it will heal. I guarantee it's just an amazing, amazing plant. Uh, it truly is. So, you know, like I say, every household should have one of them. I, I love them. I'm a true believer in the aloe vera. Uh, as far as watering goes, uh, you don't need to water them a lot. The funny thing is, uh, if, like I, like I was saying, I've abused this plant and didn't water it at all, but when I... Er, very seldom but when i did water it uh these the fronds were all flat and then about half an hour after i watered they pulp up with with juice inside it is just amazing just an amazing little plant and like i said every household should have them uh have one of these plants very important get yourself an aloe, aloe plant if you don't have one <laughs> especially if you have children my my children were 
fair-haired and fair-skinned, and they always burned, like my wife. Um, but the stuff was a savior many times, I must say. Take care. Thank you for watching.